Lexi on Gears. Anyway, so it's uh, Gears, Bulls Visual Radio. And if you were watching the tweets yesterday, and uh, also during the course of this morning, I was uh, mentioning that Gary Fomato would be in the studio pregnant. So Gary's here. If you look at him on uh, the video, we've got Melissa doing the videos here today. Good job there, Melissa, I think, so far. Because um, Maz is getting married tomorrow. Maz! Nice one, Maz. Isn't that cool, eh? Very cool. Um, so what, what has happened now? Very, very cleverly, the Ford Motor Corporation sat there and decided one day, we've made some terrific vehicles. Um, and, um, you know, we know, Gary, you know the Fords extremely well. The I Ford do. Focuses. I do. Stunning cars, the Fiesta, stunning cars. But there was something that was a little bit lacking. And their brains sat together. I would love to have figured out how this came up. But I think it was rather, rather clever if you think about it. They sat and worked out that, you know, it's all fine buying a car. But now what happens if you're a lady and you buy a car and all of a sudden you fall pregnant? So you've got to try and figure out because, you know, you don't sit there and go, well, um, I'm going to buy this car. And then all of a sudden you do fall pregnant. And now all of a sudden it's, it's a little bit confusing. So they sat there and they worked out, well, what would it be like for, let's say, a man to have the feeling of pregnancy and understand how more difficult it is to drive a car with all of these pains and your bladder being pushed and extra breastuses and those kind of things. So they, they've, um, they've developed something very clever, cleverly called the empathy uh, bag. Empathy? Empathy belly. Empathy belly. All right. Which, Gary, it's like a 30, 38 double Ds over there. Dice's, <laughs> Dice's double Ds got nothing on those uh, empathy bellies over there. Whoa. So, so what Gary's going to do is he's going to put this thing on. Okay. And he's going to explain to us how it feels. Now, there's a whole lot of weights in there. There, you fill it up. It's got like water. It's got sand. Push on your bladder. Yeah, it's got something he's going to push on your bladder. All of those kind of things. It's going to make it rather uncomfortable. You know, I mean, besides the fact that if you do have a pregnant woman in your life, the fact that you more than likely get slain every other day. <laughs> now. We want you to really feel the pain. I think this is very sexist. Because you know what? I mean, men have to deal with pregnancy just as much as women. <laughs> Don't you think so? No. Of course you. Of course we do. We go through all the terrible things. You guys have nothing. Hey, your choice. Not us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying out of this one. Yeah. For now. <laughs> yeah. For now. <laughs> Gary, don't comment on it. Uh, anyway, so, so we've got this emp empathy belly. All right, Gary. So are you going to try this thing on for us? I'm going to put it on now, and we're going to go from uh, to eight and a half months pregnant in a, in a short while. Yeah. So, uh, Gee whiz. Let's, uh, let's see how this feels. I'd like to, my wife is pregnant, so I'd like to know a well, little bit about what she's going through. Well, now. there we go. Then at least perhaps, perhaps you know, this is the nice thing I like it. At least I didn't call it the sympathy <laughs> belly. <laughs> Other way, Gary, you can't have your breastuses at the back there. Uh, must you? There. Oh, that's looking. Ooh. That's looking so awesome. I look like that normally. No, you don't. No, look, he's getting strapped. Gary's getting strapped. At least it's a nice color, Gary. Blue's your color. You know, you look good in blue. He's putting on this empathy belly, okay? Now, the thing is, he's now going to experience. Are you now going to add all of these other things to him? Well, I've put the weights in. Okay, the weights are in there as well. How's it feeling? It's a belly that's in here. I'm sure it's very comfortable. You could live like that. Hey? Okay, so I want you to do something. All right, wh what are we you doing? I want to hold this and I want you to put it onto your bladder. So where it's like sitting and then it'll just stick to the front. Yeah. Yeah. I'm stick my hands. Mm -hmm. No, no, put your hands there. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> she got a little bit okay. nervous. All right, so now, there's Gary. Uh, come get into your chair there so we can Thank get you, you on the full camera. Oh, wait, we've got more stuff that we have to so put on you. To make the outfit look nice. Uh, th of course, that's very important. Oh, look at that. That's like one of those hospital freaking gowns. Your bum hangs out of Exactly. I know, that looks hysterical. Okay. There's Gary in the, wearing the empathy belly. How does it feel? I'm not going to lie to you. It's not comfortable. Is it not comfortable? It is not comfortable. At all? And it's heavy. <laughs> it is heavy. You see... I mean, this is really nice that Ford have done this. I need to put my feet but up. But do you know? <laughs> do, 
Oh yeah, no, put, put, them them up. Feet yeah up. put your feet up. There oh. we go. Do you need a massage? Uh, would you like some I'm tea? Sorry. Would you like some tea? Just don't talk to me like that, okay? <laughs> Just be nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now the thing is, um, the, the engineers and designers, okay, have, have said that this thing it's got a three kilogram pouch okay that applies pressure to your bladder which is happening at the moment yes. compartment for water and ball bearings that mimic the um mild fetal kicking so does it move around between the water and the ball bearings i'm trying to feel or maybe he's having a sleep perhaps <laughs> oh no hang on let me just move around a bit more try, try and do your shoe try and do my shoe try okay, and do your shoe there we go not so easy it's not working yeah but now you see you're squashing the baby yeah, it's I true. just, I don't know, you know. Listen, so the thing about it is, is um, this is now when, honestly, if you're going to purchase a car and maybe you are pregnant or you're not, or you're planning on being pregnant, you actually got to start thinking about these things. So if you are now driving, Gary, it's quite a different and difficult position. Well, I mean, exactly. To put your safety belt on now, I mean, it's, you know, cause it's seriously uncomfortable. I mean, it's, it's for one of the things. And, uh, you know, maybe you've got a sports bra. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, at least they're pretty firm, yeah. Yeah, it's so not bad, okay. eh? I must yeah. say, very good designer. Perky. I think it's a, I think it's a 36 double D. Perky. Really? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> perky. All right, Perky Gary. Uh, <laughs> so now, what they're saying is you've got to think about these things when you buy a car. As opposed to, you know, just sitting and going, oh, well, oh, I'd love a lovely little sports car. But you get a sports car and then the next minute you're pregnant, you can't get in and out of the sports car. And you can't adjust your shoes, as you've shown us. And women in shoes. Exactly. Now we understand why they're so ratty when they're pregnant. Is it only because of the shoes thing? Well, <coughs> I don't know. No? I think it's uh, uh, but look, a it's multitude of things. It's, I mean, just to be able to get jump in and out of the car, if you've got a job where you're required to drive around uh, and you spend a lot of time on the road, so just I mean, that your t day becomes a heavy day. I mean, literally, I mean, to carry this around with you I mean, it, it seriously is quite heavy a heavy weight you know as you put it on yeah so i mean you can only imagine to to have this with you 24 7 i mean it's it's a big thing and uh you know like i say jumping in and out of a car it's a seat belt it's putting things in the back it's all this sort of thing it's it becomes a, a big task get a ford cougar there we go because that i've got one hey there we go oh, yeah. you're perfect okay. for that yeah get a ford cougar i can, I can go and Isn't that the coolest name the of a car yes. hey what do you drive a cougar baby <laughs> <laughs> do you want a ford cougar no, I'm okay, thank you. Okay. Why? Well, oh, you know, too young to be a cougar. <laughs> Your mom got one? <laughs> <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> so that is the empathy belly, um, in a nutshell. And it's... Vi now, are you going to sell them? <laughs> no. Maybe uh, for... Yeah. I think it would be interesting to actually, if you had to go for a walk around the block or just, just do something. Like, I mean, it's quite easy. You're sitting here now. It's, it's comfortable. But I think to... To move around with it, I mean, this is where it gets difficult. I must say, I never really imagined that it would feel like this. I and mean, if it feels as close to this as this is, I don't know. But I mean, it's it's it is. Well, I feel for I feel for all of you pregnant women out there, really. Yeah, I feel for you pregnant women as well. It's terrible that what you have to go through to make us. <laughs> it wasn't our fault you came out a girl, <laughs> is it really? No, I'm very happy I came out as a girl. There we go. All right. Well, you know. So, I mean, it's a bit unfair that we have to wear this thing to simulate it, to get an understanding of, that, of what women are going through. It's just so you treat your wife better when she's moaning. Let's just remember it's an empathy belly, not a sympathy <laughs> belly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to put it on me. So, um, listen, there's other some uh, very interesting stuff as well, which Ford has given us. Uh, which is actually very pertinent, especially today if you're in the Johannesburg area, because uh, the weather is um, pretty wet out there. We spoke about this, remember on Monday or Tuesday? We spoke about driving in, in, in wet weather. Yes. But uh, a couple of, a couple of uh, safety tips from Ford for expectant mommies specifically. Wearing your seatbelt correctly, make sure your seatbelt is positioned below your abdomen, around your hips. Shoulder strap should be between your breastuses and make sure to tug on the belt to make sure it's nice and snug. Sounds like a, <laughs> sounds like a feature from Dorothy Black. <laughs> <laughs> tug on the, yeah. Move back. Move your seat back to a comfortable distance when you are driving. Reaching, uh, reclining the seat slightly can also help. Doing this will protect your stomach, 
in the event of airbag deployment. I would like to add on to that. Make sure your arms are not straight. You must have arms bent. Okay, good. Support your back. Uh, if you have a pregnancy-related back pains, place a small circular back pillow to support your lower back or use a rolled-up towel. This will help increase support and comfort while you're driving. And if you're old like me, you can also use the little cushion at the back. It's beautiful. And of course, most of the time, take a break. But when you're pregnant, you take a lot of breaks. So you drive, stop, pee. So there we go. Just walk around the car a couple of times. would be very, very good. And um, be the passenger as often as possible. So instead of, you know, having to drive, Gary, you are now going to have to drive uh, Claudette all over the that's, place. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. Yeah. I, I normally do. As long as you don't wear that. No, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's getting quite uncomfortable, though. <laughs> is it getting more uncomfortable? It is. It is. All right. We'll get you out of that in a oh, couple of seconds. My feet are swollen. Oh, no. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Anyway, would you like some tea? Please. Okay. Please. We'll get you some tea in magazines. Thank you very much. Nothing wrong. Anything else that no, I can get for you? that's okay for now. Some wafers, maybe. Wafers. We've got some okay, lovely wafers over here. There we go. You see? We know exactly how to be good um, boys when it comes to looking after people who are pregnant. Anyway, so there we go. That is the, um, the empathy um, belly. And now, well, at least Gary Fumato knows what it's like to feel pregnant. Gears on bulls.co.za with Sasha Martinengo. He's kept himself out of trouble. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time.